In this video, I am going to find the exact equation of the circle which passes through the three points A, B and C that lie on its circumference. The first thing to do is to join up A and, A and C to form a chord and similarly join A and B to form a second chord. Now to find the centre of the circle I need to construct the perpendicular bisectors of both of the chords. And these will pass through the centre of the circle. So there's one perpendicular bisector and there is the second perpendicular bisector. So here is a right angle and here is a right angle. So that length is the same as this length and similarly that length is the same as that length. So this method is basically based on the one of the circle theorems that states that the perpendicular bisectors of two chords will pass through the centre of the circle. I'm going to denote this midpoint as D and this midpoint as E. So the first thing I'm do, going to do is find the coordinates of D. So the coordinates of D are found from the mean of the X coordinates and the mean of the y coordinates for a and c therefore d the midpoint of ac has coordinates 5 3 and i'm going to do similarly for e which is the midpoint of ab Therefore, E has the coordinates of 2 minus 1. So I'm going to put these coordinates on the uh, graph now. So D, 5, 3. And E, 2 minus 1. The next thing is to find the gradient of the line or chord AC. And that is given by delta Y over delta X, changing changing Y coordinates over changing X coordinates. So So line AC has a gradient of one quarter. I'm now going to denote the centre of the circle by F. So I need to find the gradient of the line DF. So the gradient of the line DF, because the line DF and AC are perpendicular, will be the negative reciprocal of AC, so minus 1 over 1 quarter, which gives minus 4. So for the line DF, And using the general equation of any straight line, i.e. y equals mx plus c. 
and the point that the line df passes through which is d so using d which has coordinates 5 3 I now have Therefore, C equals 23. Therefore, line DF is Y equals minus 4X plus 23. And similarly, have to do the same procedure for the chord AB. And the perpendicular, the perpendicular bisector to that chord EF. So f the gradient of AB equals changing y coordinates over changing x coordinates. giving minus 3 therefore the gradient of EF is a negative reciprocal of minus 3 which gives one third for line F. Similarly, again using y equals mx plus c, and the point which the line EF passes through, which is E, so the point E forms the equation. Therefore, C in this case equals minus 5 over 3. Therefore, line EF is Y equals 1 third X. minus 5 over 3. So now I have found the equations of the two perpendicular bisectors. So at the centre of the circle F, one third <coughs> X minus 5 over 3 equals minus 4x plus 23 therefore 13 over 3 x equals 74 over 3 therefore the x coordinate of the center xf equals 74 over 13 so here I can put 74 over 13 as the x coordinate of f and yf the y coordinate of f equals minus 4 times the x-coordinate plus 23 and that equals 
Now, because I want the y coordinate to be exact, I'll need to express it over 13. So this is going to be minus 4 times 74 plus 23 times the denominator, which I want, which is 13. And that's all over 13. Which gives a y coordinate of 3 over 13. So the y coordinate of the centre of the circle is 3 over 13. Now I need to find the radius squared for this circle. So R squared equals the distance AF squared, which equals change in x-coordinates squared plus the change in y-coordinate squared. So that gives a value of the radius squared as this. Therefore, the equation of the circle is x minus the x-coordinate n squared plus y minus the y-coordinate equals the radius squared and that's the exact equation of the circle which passes through the three points A, B and C.